Sam Bankman-Fried was released on a $250 million bond package on Thursday while he awaits trial over the collapse of the FTX crypto exchange, which a US prosecutor called a fraud of epic proportions. Federal prosecutors in Manhattan have accused the FTX founder of stealing billions of dollars in customer funds to plug losses at his hedge fund, Alameda Research. Bankman Free was not asked to enter a plea on Thursday. He has previously acknowledged risk management failures at FTX, but has said that he does not believe he has criminal liability. His defense lawyer, Mark Cohen, declined to comment after the hearing in Manhattan Federal Court. US Magistrate Judge Gabriel Gorenstein set Bankman Freed's next court date for January 3, 2023, before US District Judge Ronnie Abrams, who will handle the case. Right now, Calkine is offering a seven day free trial on its premium research reports. Get access to data driven market insights combined with an in depth analysis on financial markets across the globe. Don't miss it. Subscribe for the free trial now. Bankman Freed founded FTX in 2019, and a boom in the values of Bitcoin and other digital assets propelled the exchange to a valuation of some 32 billion US dollars earlier this year, making the Massachusetts Institute of Technology graduate a billionaire several times over, as well as an influential donor to US political campaigns. In granting him pre trial release, Gorenstein said Bankman Freed had achieved sufficient notoriety that it would be impossible for him to engage in further financial schemes or to hide without being recognized. After Thursday's court appearance, the one time billionaire was surrounded by photographers as he exited the lower Manhattan courthouse and entered a black SUV. He sported facial stubble and a grey suit, a far cry from the shorts and t-shirt he became notorious for wearing in public appearances whilst running FTX. Nicholas Roos, a prosecutor, told Gorenstein that the bail package would require Bankman Freed to surrender his passport and remain in home confinement at his parents' home in Palo Alto, California. He would also be required to undergo regular mental health treatment and evaluation. Roos said that while Bankman Freed had carried out a fraud of epic proportions, he had no history of flight and his financial assets had reduced significantly. Bankman Freed, 30, was arrested last week in the Bahamas, where he lived and where FTX is based, cementing his fall from grace. He departed the Caribbean nation in FBI custody on Wednesday night. Cohen said he agreed with prosecutors' proposed bail conditions. He noted that Bankman Freed's parents, both Stanford Law School professors, would co-sign the bond and post the equity in their home as assurance for his return to court. The bond is meant to ensure that if Bankman Freed does in fact flee, the government could confiscate the family's assets, including their Palo Alto home, up to $250 million. Reuters could not determine the family's total net worth. Bankman Freed said at a New York Times conference on November 30th, following the exchange's collapse, that he had approximately $100,000 in his bank account. Alright, that's all for this video, but let us know your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like and share. For more content, you can subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. I'm James Preston, reporting for Kalkine Media.